Hello and welcome to Darkhaven. I take my gaming seriously here and these are my promises to you. Law based role playing and narration, delving deep into the mindset of the character or faction I'm playing. Absolutely no cheating, reloading or exploits and lastly and most importantly following the rule of cool. Picking the most exciting and thematic option and not always the most efficient. So if those are things that appeal to you as a gamer then please do like and subscribe and click the bell notification icon. Hello and thank you for joining me back here on Darkhaven again for episode 5 of my Wurzag the Great Green Prophet Legendary Difficulty Immortal Empires campaign. A long title. So, at the end of the last episode, we uh, took out the top notch force with Slim Shady. I'm special. Malagor has declared war on us, um, so he will be around somewhere being a pain in the butt. Uh, we will have to deal with that. It's going to have to be Slim Shady is going to swoop around some kind of movement like that. We'll take Stormhenge and then come round and, and destroy them. In the north, Thorgrim ran. Look at that. No. Ran no, from us. Um, I has my mystic powers. The coward. I is invincible. Uh, because Wurzag is coming. All right then, let's do it. And I think I got time for this. we uh, may still attack this turn anyway. Um, the Forest of Gloom declared war on us. Meh, yeah, big whoop. <laughs> we'll, uh, Now's the time. we'll deal with that. And I do wonder if I'm going to send Bogrub back to reinforce in case Malagor comes in. So we are in the, the movement phase in loose commons as I try to uh, formulise and get a bit of structure around my Warhammer Total War episodes. So first things first, let's move my troops. Uh, yeah, Slim Shady still charging this way. Might as well put him into uh, da -da -da -da, defense, what's it called? Raiding camp, get a bit of money and some replenishment. Galbaraz could be attacked. I've not spent that much money on it. It won't be the end of the world if I lose it. Um, if they got into Dragonhorn Mines, again, wouldn't be the end, but it uh, would be annoying. Options are I could possibly recruit another army in Dragonhorn Mines. It's an option. Or do we send Bogrub down? One, two, yeah, I think that could be advisable because Malagor is so mobile, I'm going to need to chase him down. And I've got two stacks over here anyway. Let's do it. Okay. Dusty. All right, all right. All right then. Just gonna back Get up lost. here. Getting it done. Running. Great profit. Okay. <laughs> Night Cabo War Boss. Can't quite get my toe in there. Uh, Terrible. Just like Simon. Now, if I attack, oh, they're gonna have just a little bit too much for us at the moment, I think. Yeah. I am a rune lord. They've got that army Smith. there, that army there, and the garrison from Kara as a character, which isn't too bad. I'm the prophet. Mm. I might be able to attack and kill Barundan. All right, we're going to wait. We're just going to wait for Dusty to be able to move up and attack the next turn. Okay, it does put a little bit of a strain on our finances, but we're only minus a thousand. 
so we won't be able to recruit another lord. It's just... Wurzag will do it! Wurzag will be able to do a truckload of damage to them with Foot of Gork and that lot, but I, don't th I think that's a little bit too no much for him to chew. Would do this. Okay, uh, so no movement, no combat this turn. Um, no recruitment, no building. Let's just check our diplomacy very quickly. Chosen. Clan Verms. I presume they're in this area here, which we're going to take from them. Yeah. No, that's it. Okay. Well, that's a relatively uneventful turn. Massive battle coming up this turn, then. Red Fang's destroyed. Okay, so these night goblins are being annoying. Okay, so Slim Shady will move up to attack Stormhenge. I'll just encircle that for now. Okay. Well, if they run off, they've run off with one army. Really? I'll use my spells. Why would you do? Unless they're uh, gonna try and ambush me or something. Okay, I'm going to siege that. I'm gonna move up, Dusty. That is a truck ton. It's gonna be a great fight. I can't wait for that. Bog Rob is running back. And rightly so, I think. The beastmen can be a real pain in the backside. Especially Malagor in this area here. Um, I suppose I can also use the uh, Underdark, or whatever it's called. What's it called? The Underway, excuse me. I can use the Underway to move around. But Okay, so combats. Let's take care of this one down here. Tend in the spiders. Slim Shady. The spells are charged. Um, now, annoyingly, auto resolve is costing us. An experienced goblin unit, which I don't want to lose. I know it seems a bit petty, but it's going to slow us down. I don't want to have to stop and recruit. I don't have to spend any money. Interesting. So, our reinforcements are coming from Evernyar. I don't think we're going to need them anyway. But let's at least come in from the same area. So, let's grab these damage units here and chuck them over there. Give them a group so I don't collect them. Select them. Uh, I suppose we'll take the 100 out as well. Let's grab! Scabbers ready! Okay, there we go. Now, selecting these, those, and him. Start battle. In we go. So, certainly not going to be an easy one. I'll speed things up as much as I can. 
take out their shooting. I will need those reinforcements, I think they will be useful. Here we go. Just gives him a little bit of damage reduction for a few seconds. Okay, that's those arrow boys pretty much removed. the reinforcements, we'll send them up this way. Try and speed things up a little bit. Right, let's take a couple of these onto that side. Uh, I'll save the war till I'm in contact with everybody. Oh, they're going to be a while though. Um, let's go for it. Stay there. I didn't realise I had them selected. That was stupid. <laughs> Never mind. At the end of the day, it's a few goblins. Uh, it doesn't look like they're going to die anyway. It's just I can save quite a bit of cash, and if I get them to decent experience, then they'll perform okay, buffed up and everything. I mean, a decent melee unit is costing me like, what, 50 gold a turn? That's, that's alright. there where I chased them down. Yeah. 
not performing that badly, considering this is all goblin crap. <laughs> it's not performing that badly. side as well. I'm going to speed things up now. Just take out of there the range abilities. any units took some damage on them because I was an idiot <laughs> but didn't lose them that's the main thing eventually I'll maybe upgrade them to night goblins we'll see I don't know how long these armies will be efficient to use on this difficulty. I need to have a look at those as well. Look at our ancillaries. Good. Battle number one complete. I suppose we might as well work our way. Could work our way like that. Okay. Right, and for the main event, tonight's Prime Fight. A valiant defeat. Wurzag's pretty good army. Dusty Squigbear's chaff. <laughs> uh, I'm going to... I am going to put the um, Waz under AI control. Potentially dusty as well. Yeah. Why is that, you ask? Uh, okay, not dusty because actually, yeah, the Lord could die. Um, just to help me out a little bit because that's a lot of units to control. Here we go. Personally, I don't think they stand a chance. The Swamp Things and the Rusty Arrows, big upgrade here. So Armour Sundering. And then Magical Attacks as well, because they're in Wurzag's army. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, it's just like, look how good they are. I can get them much higher than that as well, I think. So our allies are coming from over here as our Okay, we saw, our, our, okay cool, that makes sense. So our war's coming up behind us. Yeah, let's lead them to it. So what's the plan here? Oof, we're gonna take some hits on the way in. 
that's not going to stop us, I'm afraid. I am afraid that for too long Thorgrim has been a thorn in the side of Wurzag, dividing his subjects, making them fight against each other, and preventing them from entering the old world proper. But not anymore. I'm not even going to go over the walls, I'm just going to smash those gates in. Yeah, where's I got the front there? That's fine. Yeah, they're quite split up. Hopefully we can uh, kill Thorgrim ourselves. Maybe I should have put the other army on the AI control as well. These guys are great. Terror and melee attack by six. Oh, really good. Really, really good. Regenerating. Superb. I think I might need to uh, put a couple more poison units in just to spread it out. Maybe another two uh, debuffing units and, and what else. So we'll see. We'll see what the balance would be. Saving his magic at the moment. Okay, good. We've got into those quarrelers with the poor boys, but let's just pull back. Right. We're just going to grab all of them and bang down the gates. Nothing too complicated. Grab a few of them and some of them into them. I don't want to get a uh, flank charge or anything here. I think we can take some pretty heavy losses and still be all right. There is another army floating around, if you remember. <laughs> he withdrew. Let's see, uh, let's get a few shots off of these guys and see what the armor of Sunring does. Say goodbye to the quarrelers. Yeah, see they've got no magic resistance. Quite a bit of firepower coming towards us. Boom. So their armor reduces their armor by five. Okay. And poisons them as well. So that's what's great about them. That's 
looking super good. So that poison does all of that as well. We go to these guys then. Our allies are here. I think this is the biggest battle I've had in the world of three so far. I think it'd be nice if these people were no more. guys a bit there but they don't mind There are some miners with blasting charges around. There's one over there. Okay, Thorgrim's coming in. Let's see if we can shoot this gyro bomber. Gyro? Gyro? Gyro. Right, let's send the boys in. It's Thorgrim here. It's your nuisance. Oh, uh, come the blasting charges. Yeah, they missed pretty well. Resistances, even those blasting charges can't stop us. What you want? And our allies are doing okay. Taken the helicopter down? No, they haven't. Let's go. Almost.
Okay, I need to get these poor lizard shooting us. With some success. Thorgrim is fighting on to the end, as you would expect of a Dwarven King, wouldn't you? Should be a good one. Such a strong spell. Thorgrim, I think he's terrified there. Right, let's free up some space here. Get stuck in. survive much longer especially if they stop there nice very nice how's my lord doing as long as he doesn't die not too fast it's not actually a bad army they brought up over there you know So, that part is destroyed. The enemy is gone. Oh, okay. okay. And they're going to run as well. Decisive victory. One, two, three, four, five. Five point three thousand, something like that. I suppose you could get two, four, six, eight. So yeah, you could get a lot more troops on screen. I did see a little bit of lag, but generally it played that pretty well on max settings. Oh, I, was, I can't count. 6,100. Um, now, as much as that looks very appealing, I don't want to have to invest the money back in, so let's occupy it. And hope we get a uh, decent something, uh, decent buildings. So, grudge killer research rate plus ten percent, construction cost minus ten percent for all buildings, local province. It's okay. Dwarven dread, batwinged loony, war target occupied. Okay, so what do we get? A tier two settlement. Brawling grounds, some money and control. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, 
fairly tempting to put in put in the um, diamond straight away I think yeah I think so okay right let's have a little tidy up there's no more combats this turn so let's work our way through the many skill points to spend now I haven't even looked at his other he's got three other spells there that I haven't touched but we'll, we'll get them at some point eight skill points one two three four okay no we're going to change tact And we're going to go for um, the big lads. I'm not going to take his blue line at the moment. I know he's going to have a very expensive army, but he is the best. And his job is to be, you know, out killing stuff. He makes so much money. Let's go Curse of the Bad Moon. Okay, Slim Shady. Yeah, flying down the blue line. Dusty Squig Beard. Uh, I mean, bumping the boys would be good, right? The Gobbos. And I think that's that. Yeah, okay. I is invincible. Yeah, so they've got. Stop! Why is there Groby scum in my presence? One settlement left. We'll keep Dusty Who there. Stabbing? Okay, spending. I think we're just going to be boring and go for anything that can give us more money. At the moment, uh, Galbaraz tier 3. Nasty magic ready. It's possibility, yep. Yeah. Dragon Horn Mines. Control, yeah, Rat Trappers. Uh, do we need that? Hmm, not sure. Okay, so that's the easy stuff to give us money. I don't want to upgrade there. I think we're safe to upgrade the Bitter Stone Mine and Stone Mine Tower. And then we can build some more money creating buildings there. Yeah, I think that's that. We'll keep a bit of money. Ooh. It should be alright. Because Wurzag will get into them. Who can I stand? He's running down there. We should be alright. We are a little bit low on cash. If I have to cancel some buildings, I will. And uh, ooh, look at the time that flew by. We're coming up towards the end of this episode. So I think I'll end the turn. Set up the next one. And, uh, and that will be that. Quest issued for the Bonewood Staff to win the following battle. Uh, lots of wizards, reinforcements. Oh, that's so good. 
more post battle loot, melee attack, spell resistance, miscast base chance, minus 20%, and then a passive ability around him, charge bonus, and melee attack for 17 seconds uh, across the board. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. That's so good. Okay, we've also got some of these battles to go for as well. Let's not forget. Brilliant. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I really thought that was a cracking fight against Thorgrim, and I can't wait to carry on. Thank you, and goodbye.